Okay, I guess I'm on a watermelon kick. I don't know. But I have two more projects for watermelon. And I'm not sure I'll get them both in this or even show the other one. Because y'all probably getting tired of water watermelon. But anyways, I got this off Etsy. Or I saw it on Etsy. And I clicked into it. See that? And she has uh, the pattern. It's free. So how do I get out of this? Okay, I'm trying to find where it starts. Click back. Okay, there's, it is small. And then you click into it, and you can print off the pattern. Well, it ends up being really small. And there's number two, the bottom of it, or that's the top of it. And then you can print off the star and the crow. Well, that's, it's cute. I like it, but I wanted it bigger. So I'm going on my, out on my own and I've cut a piece of board down to 18 inches. Nibble, took a little piece out there for a bite. And then here is her pattern. And that wasn't big enough for my board at all. So I took it into my Silhouette software and I enlarged it. And I wanted to use a different star. And you can see that's the size of hers. That's the bottom of hers. Here's the bottom of mine. And I had a star that I want to use for it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So now I will trace the crow that I enlarged and the star on this thin wood here. And I'm going to go cut it out and sand this board down a little bit and get started on making that watermelon. And I will make it a hanger. And like I said, I just didn't want it that small. And this is an old pattern. I think it was from 1997. I know that's back when I used to do a lot of watermelon and crows and I've kind of went back to that but I want to make it as a large hanger not just a little small one all right guys and I'll leave the link to this pattern down below if you want to use it and or enlarge it like me I don't know but I will leave the link to her pattern down below I got my star and my crow cut out and now I need to make the round holes, so I've kind of guesstimated at where I want them. I may have to place this a little, this a little different, or the star, but I'm going to turn slowly. I'm going to use my drill press, and I'm using one and an eighth inch bit. And while I was out here, I went ahead and took my drill, and I just had uh, a dowel rod just a little small one, cut off a couple pieces and drilled a hole for these to go into. So, because a lot of times I forget and I've almost got my project finished and think, well, I got to drill where I painted. So, I remembered this time. I've got everything cut and now I'm going to start painting. And I'm using Americana Hauser, Hauser, dark green. I've got to get me some greens. Normal greens. Anyways, I'm just going to do the edges all the way around on the sides. Probably won't paint the back. If I do, I'll probably just paint it one color. Because it's going to be a hanger. Anyways, I'll just continue on doing this. I don't have it. I mean, I'm just, I don't have my lines drawn out or anything. Just going down. And I don't think you want to sit here and watch me go through all this. So I'm going to do this. And if it needs a second coat, give it the second coat. And when that's finished, I'll be back.
Okay, as I was painting and I was going around my corner like this, I realized I forgot to round the wood. So I stopped what I was doing and dried that right in there and took it out to the scroll saw and just rounded them off real fast and sanded them. But I don't know if y'all noticed, but if you did, I did get them rounded. Well, I have my uh, green painted and it's pretty dry and I didn't have to give it a second coat. So now I'm going to start on my red and I am out of reds too. What is that? I guess that's just a dent. But I'm using Americana tomato red. Looks awful bright, but I think it'll dry darker. That's lovely. I gotta be careful. So I'm gonna finish painting this red. When I get done with that, I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do from there. Well, I have that painted and while they are, or that's drying, I'm gonna paint my crow just uh, black and then my star, I'm gonna use Apple Barrel Golden Sunset. And then I'll go back and put the rind in on it. And I think I'm gonna distress this one. I'm gonna do it a little different and, and distress it. Okay, I almost forgot to film this. I've just taken a sponge and cut a piece off of one of my kitchen sponges I hadn't used. And I always wet my sponge with some water first and wring it out really well. And I'm just gonna take it and pounce like I did in the other video. And I'm thinking about going back around again with some white the same way on the edge of the light green. But that's what I'm doing so far with this. I'm going to continue on. I'm almost done. And I just, lucky there, I have white on my table when I was shaking my white up because it was all clogged. And now I'll have to paint over that. That's okay. I always have to do something. I've got it all over me. I better stop and clean up my mess before I go any further. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. And that color that I'm using is sage green. Okay, I've... Oh, there's some I need to touch up. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to let this dry well. And I did put black down in the holes. And I've got my star painted and my crow. And I'm going to take this out to the garage and distress it some. And then I'll start decorating and putting it together. All right, I've taken it out and distressed it. And while I was out there, I distressed this. I distressed the star. I started looking for my crow. I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked and I looked and I looked. I finally came back in here in my craft room, got the pattern, traced it off on the board, and went out to cut another one. Well, when I went to my scroll saw, the table of it, is black and I went to put my wood there to cut and it was tilted up and I picked it up and there was the crow it was laying on it what hadn't been distressed yet it was totally black so I thought well I've already got this drawn off I'll go ahead and cut it out right fast sand it down if I need it I have it so that's where I was that's where I'm at there now I think I'm going to put a top coat of brown because I want a little darker color on this. The I've got I'm using the uh, Jolie finishing top coat in brown. And that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'll come back and show you how it looks when I'm done because I'm just gonna be putting this on there. Kind of get an idea of it so far and then I'll wipe it back. 
And then from there, I'll be ready to start decorating it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I liked how the one that I kind of got the idea off from, uh, she had the wreath, what is it, the vine on it. I don't think I have, I don't, I know I don't have, I'd have to tear one of my wreaths up. And I don't know if I can get it to look right, but I might do that, try it anyway, because I've been wanting to tear one apart to use in projects anyway, so. Anyways, I'm going to continue on with doing this, wipe it back, and start decorating. Well, here it is so far. I've tore a small grapevine wreath apart, and put it on there, and I had to staple them, so I put some rub and buff on the staples, because I think the black looks better than a shiny silver, and I put a bow around the crow's neck, and I glued it on, but I also put some little tiny brad nails. Really, you don't see them. That's probably the one you see the most in the star. And to keep the back from looking so bad, I did take some brown paper and hot glued it on back there. Now I have to take some Spanish moss and put in the holes. And then I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole over here and make a hanger for it. And I'm not sure if I'll add anything else or not. All right, here's how it finished out, and all I did was put the wire on the top and twisted the wire on the ends and made them curly. And now I'm going to show just a few clips at my craft show this weekend. I didn't have a chance to get a lot, and then at the very end of that, then I'm going to show you what the few things that I did pick up. Okay, I'm here ready So. Woods County Fairgrounds and I'm going to go in and set up. He's going to go find out where we're supposed to unload. I'm not supposed to be here till 5 and it's 10 till. They may let us go ahead. Somebody's done something over there. Boy, it's going to be a hot one tomorrow. Glad we're on the inside. I'm here with my friend Paula. We're sharing a booth. But he's going in to check on it for me. Oh, and I might add, it's the evening before they're going to let us set up this evening, and that way I can get up, because I have to travel. It took us about an hour to get here, so that'll be, make it easier on me and not have to try to get up and get over here in time to set up my booth. Alright, I am here, and I've set up and I'm with my friend Paula. She does resin pieces and jewelry. And then there's more outside. It's not real big. Oh, I've got to have a hat. I love those hats. I love the hats. And this stuff over here is really cute. Oh, yes, the hats. Let's go look at the hats. Because I want to see if that's that pearl. And I'm almost sure it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that is still setting up. so far. Everybody is still setting up. And look at my husband. <laughs> You're going to be famous. Oh dear. 
That wasn't my husband. That's Paula's husband. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off and look at the hats. Bad price at all. The 150 is our Laney Wilson collection. And uh, most of them, we sell them most of them between $100 and, and $99. $199 is $125. And uh, well, they're of pretty cool. I'm going to have to take some video too, but I got a lot of fun yet. This will be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Go get on Thank you very much. I need to, do you have a place? Well, I know, but we're not done. Do you have your name up or anything? Uh huh? Do you have a name for your yeah, Honeybird? Yeah. Honeybird? Yeah. Okay. Honeybird. It's Honeybird. Honeybird cats. Fashion vintage hats. I love them. We got steampunk hats. <laughs> oh, but you sure do. <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna have to come back when you get set up more. Well, I'm heading back this way. Jewelry, the, one, the rest of the rows. I got tags everywhere. I love all the Oh, that's it. Now, we're here this morning and there's more people setting up. The middle has filled in quite a few more booths. And over here, we have like freeze dried candy. Several, several jewelry booths. I see some turquoise that I'm going to go look at. But it hasn't started yet, so everybody's setting up still. Okay, here we are outside, and it was starting to get pretty hot, but I'm having to do a voiceover because there was some loud music playing, and I was just kind of, I took a really quick look around, and I was telling my husband, I was looking at those, they were only $10 a piece, and I started telling my husband that I wanted one of those. I want one of those and we kind of looked around for the guy and we couldn't find anyone so my husband told me he'd just come back out later and pick me one up because there was enough of them he thought they'd still be there although when he went back he said quite a few of them was gone and then we'll go on over to the other table in a minute <laughs> I spied a chicken coop. Or I spied chickens. I love that chicken coop. She had 50 on it. There I saw a lantern. I think she had 15 on that. I would like to have it, but I didn't get it. I like that kettle. I think she had 20 on that one. And I was looking at these uh, little lanterns. They're new, but I thought I could take those and rust them up. And they were actually oil. They didn't have a LED light in them or anything. They could have been fixed up really cute. And, of course, here I am back at looking at the chickens. I don't think her chickens were for sale. Now, after this, I'm going to show you what I got. I did. He did go out and end up picking me up this... Uh, a uh, wheel. It's not a wagon wheel because it's not quite as big as a wagon wheel, but it is old, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I liked it. It was only $10. If y'all have any, any ideas, let me know. Then on the inside, I picked up this old uh, kettle. It reminds me of my mother. She used to uh, 
have one going all the time when she'd make a pot of beans and it would, the beans needed some water added. She'd have hot water and pour it in there. And she also boiled all her eggs in it for some reason. But I, I remember that. So I saw it and I got it. And I think it was $10. And I forgot. I also got these on the outside at the far back. I picked up that bag and it had all these pieces in it. And I love stuff like that to add to uh, my crafts. And especially those handles, they're older. And I can rust them up and make them look cute. And those little, the pulls and the hinges. And in the sack, there was also all the screws in there with it. So, I paid $10 for that. And that was all I bought at the craft show. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, we'll see you later.